Thank you for tuning in to another episode today. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a step back and look at how we got to where we currently are. So the town that I live in is roughly about an hour away and it seemed pretty nice when I went outside. So I thought, you know, it'd be the perfect day to shoot. But little did I know, that'd be the complete opposite. So I'm going to keep this kind of short because I don't know if y'all can see my fingers are ashy. My face is cold. Which brings me to the first point. Today we are here to talk about shooting with Fujifilm cameras using vintage glasses. And what we have is the Canon 50mm 1.4 SSC version and also the Canon 135mm f2.5. And yes, most of these pictures are going to be taken from a parking lot. This is a pretty popular spot in Atlanta and you can get some nice shots, especially if you have a 135 or so lens. So what I'm doing, I'm just waiting for us to get some interesting subjects to walk past. So one thing, just a rule of thumb when it comes to framing, what you want to do, you want to get your position, you know, get your composition right, and then when the subject walks past, boom. I mean, it may take some time. I know one thing that I'm currently waiting for, I am waiting for the Marta, like the, the trolley to come by, and you'll get some pretty cool shots. And that's exactly what I did. I waited for the, uh, the trolley to come by, and photos that came out necessarily weren't the photos that I was hoping or intending to get. So I mean this kind of happens sometimes when you're out doing street photography. Alright so I just made it back into the car and I'm not gonna let the cold weather kind of stop me. Well I kind of am. But the thing is look over here. Do y'all see how that light is hitting right there? So I am not about to let the cold stop us. So right here, I have the telephoto lens on it. I am going to wait for a subject to pop up over there. And I am going to use this camera right here and capture the subject from in the warmth of my car. And despite the challenges I've faced so far during this day, I decided it's too early for me to go in with the light looking how it currently is. So I decided to head up to Buckhead and capture some photos in some areas around there. But before we switch over to that portion, I just want to show you all a picture that I took when I was at a stoplight. This is probably one of my favorite photos from the day. And now the reason why I like this picture so much is because it captures a lot of Atlanta in my opinion. You have the downtown, it has a warm feeling. You see the lights and the lights is kind of the equivalent of leading lines which kind of falls right down to the subject. It just kind of falls almost really perfect. So that pretty much concludes it for the video portion of today, but what we're going to do, we're going to actually start looking at some of these pictures and kind of breaking down and looking at the sharpness and my overall take of the lenses. So this very first image is one of the images that we saw earlier, but this is an unedited version of it. So what we can see here, the photos come out a little bit soft, um, but when you push and pull stuff, pulse, you can get some pretty good stuff out of it. So right away, um, I don't want anybody to think that these FD glasses are going to be as sharp as any brand new lenses or anything that's coming out nowadays. And now let's talk about color. So I know a lot of the things that people may be concerned about when going over from, you know, Fuji lenses over to FD, which are older lenses, uh, is just how well are the colors going to come out? Well, to give you a little bit of relief, you should have no concern. You should be able to still get great colors. A lot of it depends on the sensor and some of it does depend on the coating of the lenses, but still it, it does a great job. So as we can see in the second photo, the sharpness may not be 100% there, but still it is an overall great photo in my opinion. And then just going back and looking at some more raw images. So looking at these two pictures, you can see that you still get nice colors in them. This is unedited. This is not JPGs from Fuji cameras. These are raw images, zero process, any editing done to them, and you can still see the colors in them. And this last shot that I'm going to show, this was taken on the 50mm 1.4. And to be honest, this is my favorite lens. Number one, it's kind of a fast lens. I mean, even though you do have 1.0 you know, and 1.4 aperture lenses, 1.4 is still really good. And especially it's really soft. It has nice bokeh on the lens and everything. So um, I guess the next thing we're going to talk about is who are these lenses for? I feel as if that these lenses are for the people that want to step away from a little bit of the modern norm, if that makes any sense. And on top of that, these are for people who have budgets and as well as want to just switch to something that may be a little bit more soft than what we are used to nowadays. On top of that, these are great for even video. Manual focusing, in my opinion, works a lot better than automatic focus for video work. And I'll tag one of my recent videos in which the entire film or video was shot using the 50mm 1.4. 
And this concludes the video for today. So I would like to say thank you once again for tuning in to another episode. And if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and press the thumbs up button to receive more content like this and to help the channel grow. So if you have any questions or comments regarding Canon FD lenses or Fuji films, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section or feel free to even send me a message on my Instagram page, which I'll have in the description and in the bottom right corner of this video. So happy shooting, y'all.